One day, as I was on my way to the Musée de l'Homme, I was wondering how it might be possible to visualize the way biphonic singing works. For over 20 years, I have worked as an ethnomusicologist with a research team of the French National Center for Scientific Research called CNRS. I had heard my friend Duan Kong Hai for years doing exercises and demonstrations of this very special vocal technique. It was in Paris that he learned biphonic singing, and it was in Paris that I was going to make this film. Trang Quang Hai, of Vietnamese origin, is a renowned instrumentalist of traditional Vietnamese music. He began to take an interest in biphonic singing from Mongolia in 1970, while listening to tapes for a record that was to become a part of the Musée de l'Homme record series. At the time, there was no written description of the physiology of this vocal technique. After three years of trial and error, he discovered the basic technique by himself and has since perfected it. In 1984, at a festival of Asian music, the famous Mongol singer Sundui confirmed that he had acquired the right technique. <laughs> 